18 January 15th. Just want to give you guys a little heads up here. Please uh, bear with me. And we need to start preparing to leave now. In other words, I'm saying get ready to flee out of the cities. In fact, this is a command that is given directly from Jesus' own words. He said, flee into the mountains because there is a persecution that's coming. And if they persecute you in one city, flee into the next and keep fleeing and keep fleeing. In other words, the pilgrim journey to the kingdom of heaven is going to come with strife and with many persecutions and many struggles. Many Christians who believe that they are going to be raptured or escape the tribulation of time, you're going to be in for a rude awakening when you begin to see dreadful signs and plagues falling upon the earth. Now you guys, for a long time, many of you guys have heard me say that, Rude awakening. Anybody that knows me has heard me say this many, many times. The Lord has showed me what's coming. And I told you that I prayed for a cabin in the woods when we got to the end. Well, you guys, listen. Many of you know I had no way of getting up here to do what I've done here because the Lord's made this possible. Okay? And these things are about to start. If you look in uh, France at the Eiffel Tower, man, I, I shared a dream about that. Tug of war. Tug of war. And I see the military marching through it. Now you can see the Eiffel Tower there. Not only are they there, they're in London now. They're in uh, Germany now. They're spreading all over Europe. And now Trump shut down the government for a wall. Now, you guys, it's high time you start believing that this is demonic, it's, and those who have eyes to see, you know, in my dream, I was shown many, well, what he said was, we weren't ready. Why weren't they ready? Because they were still getting their ears tickled. You guys forget, it says in the Bible in the last days, people having itchy ears. It doesn't say just in the church. I see it here on YouTube. And there's some of us that have been really trying to warn you, using scripture, and it still doesn't seem to get anywhere. And I told you I'm in the mountains and, you know, I'm well prepared for what's coming. Not saying that I'm going to like it, but uh, I know we don't just disappear. As the Bible says clearly, those who are alive and remain will be caught up. Because otherwise, nobody would have survived. Okay? Nobody. And, you know, the Bible is very clear on these things, you guys. You got a lot of ear tickling and a lot of people like to, uh, they're not warning you. Doesn't it say that when you see that these things are coming and you don't sound the trumpet? Well, they're not sounding the trumpet. They, they make it sound like they're sounding the trumpet. Oh, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. We're raptured any minute. Any minute, man, we'll be raptured. You know, well, they weren't telling you it's going to get rough, okay? And many people are not going to make it for that reason, sadly. Very sadly. You know, I tried telling people, man, we even have some real flat land over here. And we've even looked at the possibility if there is other people out there who are aware of what's going on, if they wanted to build and prepare as we have here because there's room to do it but not a lot enough to do probably basically what we've done here a couple of cabins maybe a, a bunkhouse you know that's about it but it would also cost the funds of even putting uh food you know because when you build places for people to hang out like that it takes a lot of food too because uh dried foods and uh you know Nobody's really uh, taking this serious. It's not like we're digging a hole trying to survive it. We're not. We're just trying to make it to the time where those who are alive and remain will be caught up. Okay? That's what we're trying to make it to. Because we know what's getting ready to happen. Yeah, but anyhow, like I said, I don't feel many people are going to be ready for this. You're going to be scared because now all hope of escaping the tribulation has been crushed. 
we are not greater than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He went through tribulation. He was persecuted. All of his apostles suffered persecution and suffered hatred. What better are you than them? You're not going to escape this tribulation. A crisis is looming in the horizon. Do not disregard these things and just cast them aside and take them as being simply, ah, he didn't mean it. No, he's not going to do it. Trump would never do such a thing. Here is something also to consider. The unemployment benefits claim has been rising week after week. After now see, all this is going on where with what I just told you happening in all of Europe right now. And, you know, you guys, if you read the uh, Georgia Guidestones, you know, they've been telling people what their plans are the whole time to kill a lot of people. They're not telling you that it's biblical. That's when you got to know the word, the Bible, and many people don't. After week after week, ever since the partial government shutdown, on this very article, observe this paragraph. It says, and I quote, jobless claims increased to 231,000 in the week ended December 29, 2018, above the 220,000 median estimate of economists. Now, let me tell you something else. Everybody remembers when Trump said, this is the calm before the storm. Now, what do you mean, Mr. Trump? What do you mean? Oh, you'll see. This is what the Labor Department figures are showing. By this, ladies and gentlemen, you clearly see that people are beginning to hurt. The middle class people are beginning to hurt. Right where their pockets are, that is where they are being hurt. And check this out. Should President Trump declare a state of national emergency, he can freeze all the banks. Your accounts could be frozen. So that means it doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account. If you choose to go and try to withdraw money from the ATM or from the bank machine, you will get absolutely blocked because you will have zero access to your own personal money. The question now ultimately is what exactly does the future look like for the United States of America? Is there any type of light? Are things going to get better? Well, let's look at things from the biblical side of things because ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to burst your bubble, but if you thought that everything is going to be normal and... I think it's neat how he says things that I'm saying. I always say that too, you know, the rude awakening. I, you know, I hate to be the one that's busting the bubble, you know, that I'm not here to tickle the ears. Things will go back to being the way they were in the good old days. You are in for a rude awakening. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. There will be famines, not a famine, but famines. Man, you guys, we've seen what happened in Venezuela. That was just a picture of what's coming, to give you an idea. They ate their pets. They ate their animals, their dogs, their cats. Oh, and then they went to the zoo, and they ate the animals in the zoo. <clears throat> they fought over what little flower there was to where nobody got it. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. <coughs> unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. That's why I keep trying to tell you, man. It says those that are alive and remain 
I mean, if it was just going to be a rapture, it said, and then you will be taken in the twinkling of the eye and just be happily ever after. It doesn't say that. It says those that are alive and remain. Because of the problems which are falling upon them, listen to this Bible verse. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, their prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. If I did not care, I would not be telling you right now, at this very second, for you to make sure that your garments are clean. Because soon and very soon, the bridegroom is coming. Do not be amongst those five foolish virgins who were sleeping, and they had only the lamps, but they had no extra oil. Be rather amongst the five which were wise. You see, even not all the remnant will make it into the kingdom of heaven. A few of the remnant shall enter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a time in which all decisions must be made now. If you choose to ignore these messages and you choose to ignore this and you allow this to pass you by, I got a message for you. Maybe this might be the last chance that you have of accepting Jesus Christ into your life. And when you feel that conviction that comes to you right now that says, I need to pray, I need to go on my knees and I need to confess to the Lord and ask the Lord to grant me the power of His Holy Spirit. I need to ask for the Holy Spirit to enter my heart. And I need to plead for the blood of Jesus Christ over me. And I wish to plead for forgiveness. And I, and I wish to repent. Not just in confession, but I wish to have the Lord give me His enmity that I may have hatred towards sin. Hatred towards the things that I used to love doing. You hear that? A hatred towards sin. A lot of people are preaching, love it. Love them. They don't teach them repentance. They, they, they're teaching people to love it. To love these people, even in their sin. Okay? And the Bible's clear. It says, do not partake with these people. You know, we tell them to repent, and if they don't, you got to stay away from them. doesn't mean you hate them. But I guarantee you, when you tell them to repent, they're going to look at you and say, who are you to tell me? And you're going to be labeled as a hater, even when you're trying to tell them, you know, you're damned, you'll go to hell if you don't do this. Now, and you choose to ignore, and you choose not to hear this voice of the Holy Spirit, when you choose to ignore your conscience with regards to this conviction, my friend, there may, be not, there may not be another opportunity. Anything can happen. Maybe this is the last time that you'll ever watch a YouTube video. Maybe this will be the last time that you ever hear anyone bring to your attention about Jesus Christ. Some people may go to sleep and not wake up again. Others may go, and go outside and maybe get hit in, by a vehicle. Anything can happen. You're now here's another person that had a dream, okay? Here's how it goes. I was shown America. I heard this is America. I saw big noise of people. I saw big darkness falling on America. A big destruction which I was amazed to see. America was not like how it looks now. This is the calm before the storm, you guys. A lot of people think this can't happen, not in America. In my dream, it was horrible. I was shown people were against each other. They were fighting, quarreling, and killing each other. I saw many people rushing, running here and there on the road, and the road was full of crowded people. I saw big machine on the road which throw bombs. I was 
ocean, ocean in sandy beach. I saw people were sleeping on that sandy beach, but they looked like dead people, half covered with sand. Big building, everything looked gray in color. No shiny things, nothing. The whole scenery was sad and gloomy. Now, I was shown people, they were drinking alcohol, drugs, trying suicide and doing all sorts of things to kill themselves because they could not bear the destruction that was happening there. I saw people lying on the floor crying and dragging themselves with full pain that they could not even speak. These people I saw on the floor, they looked like when a person suffer from cancer and they are about to die. Their hair falls down and skin becomes loose and thin. So I saw these people in that situation on the floor. They were like snails on the floor, dragging slowly and looking for death, but they could not die. They looked like they don't have bone in their body, only loose skin. They all were saying, we want to die, but they could not. So these people, I was very much troubled in my dream to see them like that. I was looking where they will go, but I saw they were hardly moving their body on the floor. Together with this dream, at last, I saw big hills. I'm sure the view I saw was those hills we have in Nepal. I only saw that clouds were on the top of that hill. That's it. I did not see any other situation happening. So this is all I saw this morning. When I woke up, it was 6.30 and I was very much troubled with this dream. It was like somebody took me and showed me everything. I only had a voice and saw from my eyes. I spent morning just thinking, what was that? Whole day I thought about it. One word came to my heart and mind. It was... God is going to judge America soon because they have brought so much sin to the whole world. God will judge this country and their people. They can't escape from the wrath of Lord. They will better wish to die, but God won't let them die. They will suffer. This is how I understood. I'm still praying to Lord for revelation and do not want to be confirmed on my own understanding. I wait on Lord's time. I'm sorry for long message. I'm just praying for the people in America that they will turn away from their sin and turn to Lord today. God has given all of us to turn to Him each day and obey Him. Each day is opportunity for us. So I pray at least some people will turn to Him. Thank you so much for taking time to read this letter. The destruction of the United States is described in the Revelation chapter 18. If you want to read more about this event, you can also click on the link to watch an illustrated audio novel entitled Survivors. It's a fictional story based on prophecies in the Revelation, the book of Daniel and parts of the Gospels. I hope you'll find it helpful and inspiring. Okay, you guys. I've been showing this picture now since 2014. You can see that bird. It's in Revelations 18 too. Okay? This video just told you. Go to Revelations 18. It'll describe what's coming here. I'm from America, you guys. I'm in the mountains in Tennessee. I was told to get ready. In my dreams, Okay? I've been seeing things for a long time. I'm not an air tickler, never was. And uh, the sad truth is, um, people just don't want to hear it. They'd rather have their ears tickled. I'm going to tell you something. It says in the Bible, in the last days, people having itchy ears. Um, this is not the time, you guys. Because I'm going to tell you right now, only those who are alive and remain will be caught up. You know, and if you were 
listening to these people, setting dates after dates after dates after dates, and not believing that the word says, no one knows, only the Father, not the angels, nobody. And, uh, you know, it's like in your face. Obama nation, Trump pence. This here, it's in your face. If you have eyes to see and you still refuse to believe, let me tell you something, man. It's going to be a horrible, rude awakening. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.